All right, now let's go ahead and talk about this section of the system, which is the part of the system which actually downloads all of these articles. So in our demo here, we had an original article that we used to generate the text, to generate the screenshot, to generate the script, the AI video, the combined video, and then the caption video. So then the question becomes, okay, how do we get all of these blog URLs on a daily basis so that we can generate these videos right when they come out. Because if you're doing breaking news, you wanna be able to scan for these articles on a regular basis, automatically generate all these videos and then publish them. So the way this automation works here is that we have this schedule trigger and you can really schedule this to run as often as you want. And then it is going over to Airtable and I have another table here where you can add in additional feeds. So this table here is set up so that you can add in all of the different RSS feeds for all of the different sources that you want to monitor. So for example, I have the RSS feed for N8N and for Anthropic and also for OpenAI. So then what happens here is that when you run this trigger, it will load up all of those rows and get those specific RSS feeds. So if we open up this module here, we can see that we have two items here and we have two different RSS feeds. Currently I'm filtering it by which feeds are active. And then from here, we take these RSS feeds and then we use this module here to get the articles from those RSS feeds. Now there is a module here that is simply updating the row just to keep track of the last time we ran this automation. So that we only pull in the new articles. And then in this column here, we're keeping track of which feeds that are actually active. That's why we only had two feeds here. If we were to turn this to active as well and come back to our automation, we're gonna see that we have three items. There we go. And then we can use the RSS module in N8N to go ahead and download those articles. We'll go ahead and execute the step. And then you can see here that we have 65 different articles that it pulled back. And then in this module here, we're removing all of the old links. So again, we're using that last runtime that we have here in the database to make sure that we don't keep pulling back the same article and running that over and over and continually making the same videos over and over. So we filter out only what's new. Looks like we have four new articles. So if I come back to Airtable and we look at our news, we've got all the way up to 21. So I'll come back here and we'll run this. And now we've got four new articles that we can actually create videos from.